welcome back. So today we are going to uh, add the animation. We're gonna break down the animation for our enemy spider and um, start getting the process to get the animation added in. So the first thing we need to do is we need to kind of chop up the animated um, sequence that was given to us. Again, if you've uh, missed any of the um, any of the back videos, go ahead and stop in, visit uh, Paul Pritz Animation on my YouTube channel. Subscribe to it so you don't miss any of these videos. And if you like what you see, please like the videos. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of get started with all of this. We're gonna go ahead and jump back into our game here. This is where we left off last time. We have our scene. Right now we have these two spiders that we pulled into the scene. And the uh, next thing we wanna do is jump out of the blueprint for a little bit. We're gonna go back to our spider. And I think I'm gonna clean this up here real quick just so that we can um, kinda of see what's happening. I'm gonna put a new folder in here and call it, call it materials. Um, Try this again. Okay, call out materials, and I'm going to grab these two and put those in that folder. Move here, and then I'm going to do a one for textures. And you can be specific also if you wanted to put uh, the actual name of what these were in there. Okay, and I'm gonna, we could always make an additional folder for our assets. Um, I think I'll leave that alone for right now. But the next thing we do wanna do is um, right here with our spider animation, we wanna, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and just double click this one right now, we'll probably create a folder in a little bit. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna pause this right here, grab my spider, and kind of move it up a little bit so we can see what's happening. Kind of readjust my camera. All right, so now we've got this all kind of set up. Hit save real quick on that. I'm gonna jump back to that page where we downloaded this from. One thing I probably should have mentioned back when we were on there, so if you've already left the website, I apologize, but uh, you need to go back into that uh, site, find your spider again, and down here under the 15 animations, we. What we need is this information here. And we don't need all of this. We could go through the process and uh, cut all of that. But for this game, we only need some basics. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully just select the things I want and throw those into some sort of a document, you know, Word or Google or whatever you got. And um, Paste that onto here. Just so I have this as a reference, I am gonna save this, put it into my folder so that in the future, if I use this spider again, I don't have to go digging around for this uh, particular um, All right, so into my 3D models and my D drive for the spider. And I'm just going to put it right there. All right. So now we've got our reference for everything we need to cut out of this. And what we're going to do, this is a real simple process. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this back out. Now, if you chose a different character, make sure you get the appropriate um, animations for that character. Um, <clears throat> also, probably should give a shout out real quick to uh, Psionics, the one that... Uh, Sonic Games, the one that made this. Um, again, it is a free download. And if you take a look at your orders, I should have this open already. Um, it, is a, it comes with a pro license, which basically allows you, the pro license allows you to use an asset in a game that is released for any price or is monetized in some way. The license is not exclusive. So when you're using these assets, make sure you double check uh, what the license allows you to do or don't do and think about what it is you're gonna do with your game. Now for uh, learning and doing um, stuff at home, you know, you can use pretty much anything that's out there. Uh, 
since you're not going to monetize it. But if you're going to monetize it, think about that. Okay, now um, back to our animation. We have this opened up, and right here, our walk animation is from 0 to 45. I'm also going to look at both these attacks, so attack 1, attack 2. I'm not worried about eat, defend, hit, hit, crouch, stand tall. I'm going to take a look at idle 1 and idle 2. And also, uh, I want to do die 1 and die 2. If you're making a much more advanced uh, enemy character, those are some of the other things that you might want to take a look at. Now, <clears throat> what uh, that, that means is these are frames down here. If we take a look down here in this little slider that I've got, the little red slider, I can move it around long, and you can see that the spider goes through all these different animations. So zero to 45 is where the animation occurs So um, for this. I'm going to go ahead and put that right at 45. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and right-click it. I want to uh, remove frames um, 46 to 331. And this will leave me with just the walk animation piece. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those frames. And um, actually, I'm going to hit Control Z. Let's go ahead and save this first, OK? Because we're going to need to reuse this animation over and over again, we need to make sure that we're going to save these in bits as what they are. So I want to do a file, save as, and um, we're going to go ahead and call this, um, let's see here, spider. We're going to call this spider walk anim. Okay. And we're going to save it right here in this. Save that. So now, this should be our spider walk anim, okay? And if we jump back into here, we should have our original spider animation, and we have this spider walk animation. So now if we cut this, it's not going to uh, lose any information for our original. Again, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to go to 45. Right click and right down here where it says remove frames 46 to 30, 331. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit play, see what this looks like. Okay, and that's the walk animation and it's looping. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now I'm going to go back in. I can go ahead and close this one now. <clears throat> I'm going to go back in, open up the spider animation again. And that was for the walk. Now, for the attack one, I'm going to go ahead and do that again. I'm going to pause this. File, save as, and we're going to call this spider attack one animation. Save that. Pause this again. All right. So now, the way we're going to do this is right here it says attack one is frame our frames 46 through 65. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go find 46, right click on it, and I want to remove. Um, so I don't want to remove frame 46, okay? That's the beginning of this. I want to remove everything before 46. So I want for 0 to 45. So let's go ahead and move this to 45. Right click. And now remove frames 0 to 45. That'll leave my frame 46. And I just made this more difficult on myself. Hit Control Z, undo that. Okay. So the best way to do this, and I always forget this until I do it the first time, is we're going to start with the frame, the highest frame, and then we'll come back to the first frame. And the reason why is once we cut these first ones, it's going to renumber everything. So no longer do we have those first 46, it's going to start at at 46 as being zero. So uh, let's not do that just yet. We're going to go ahead and go out to frame 65. Okay. I always forget that. And we'll right click here. We want to remove frame 66 to 331. And now what we want to do is we want to remove frames 0 to 45. Right click and. All right, come on. It's kind of in the middle there. There we go. 0 to 45. 
Now, this is attack one. So if I see the lunging attack there, with the pinchers. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and save that one. I'm gonna do one more, and then I think you kind of got the feel for this. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna finish up this. There's no point in me going through every single one of these for you, um, unless you, well, I think you can figure this one out on your own. So I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, demonstrate it one more time. And then after that, uh, I'm gonna pause the video and let you do the rest of them. All right, so the next one is attack two. So attack two, we're gonna start at frame, deleting frame 86 and past that. So we're gonna start, cause that one's from 66 to 85. So let's go ahead and close this one. We're going to open our spider animation again. We're gonna do file, save as. We're going to put this one in as spider attack two, all right? Okay, pause this video. I'm going to go ahead and start at, like I said, so we're going to go out to 85, somewhere around here. Right click, and we don't want frame 85 deleted. I want that still. So let's try this again. Oh, I'm sorry, remove frames for 86 to 331. There we go. And now I want to remove frames 0 to 66. So we're going to go out to frame 65. Out to frame 65. We want to remove frames 0 to 65. And that will give us our attack number 2, which is that crazy thing right there. Looks like it's gnawing on you. All right, and we're going to go ahead and save that. All right, so now that it's saved, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause and finish up myself, and then let uh, you work on them on the side. And then when we come back, we will um, talk about what we're gonna do with these animations. Okay, so welcome back. What we uh, should have done now is broken out all of our animation for our spider. Okay, and we have our spider walk, we have our spider idols, the two dies, and the attack. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder and I am going to put, call this our spider animations. And I'm gonna select all these animations and put them inside of that folder so they're easy to find. All right, and then I'm gonna leave these mesh here. All right, so that is it for this video. Uh, basically, we've got everything all set up now so that in the next video, we'll start working on our spider animation um, blueprint to get the animation applied to our character spider so that it looks like it's actually walking and can uh, physically do the things we need it to do. All right, so thanks again. Um, Please uh, check out my previous videos on my um, Paul Fritz Animation YouTube channel. Like this video if you liked what you saw and subscribe. Thanks again and have a great day.